All right, so I was just pressure washing for a couple hours, like knocking all the mud out of this, and pressure washer wasn't running great the whole time. Like it wasn't, didn't have the pressure it should. Now it stopped entirely. I was thinking, oh, it was a problem with the pressure washer, but so I go inside, look at my well pump setup, and so this is on, pumps on, but looky here. But looky here, you know, we're down to zero PSI. If I open, there's nothing wrong with the pressure washer. Cody, let's go look at the well, buddy. Well, it's running and there's plenty of water. So, right, I'm just curious if it's maybe full of sand. Oh no, look at that. Gee, still not even at the bottom. No, that is plenty. All right, take that. Pump off. And I watched that light turn off. Now this pump's been in six years now and I actually haven't had any trouble with it. It was a cheap eBay pump. I remember this pump being lo longer than that. I guess the pump being in two pieces is not a good sign. Well, it's a good sign. I'd rather just throw a new pump in here than have, I don't know, other problems it could be. there all right let's uh get another pump so i just got back from the store locally that sells well pumps and all their pumps were like a thousand bucks and they were like one horsepower where this one's two now is there a huge here's this one brand new 189 that's where i got it last time same brand um the new one says no control box for some reason which I guess is technically better. Is there a huge difference in quality between a $1,000 plus dollar pump and a $180 pump? I mean, this lasted six years. I mean, I guess if it was winter time and in a really deep well that's hard to deal with, that would be way more frustrating. But honestly, it's like not that big of a deal why there's such a big price difference. Let's just order two of them. And when it breaks, I don't even, I have it. Cody, don't make a mess of foam, buddy. No, what did I just, what did I just say about that? We're ordering a new pump, buddy. All right, I got a new pump here, but I got to put it together.
problem was, I ordered this blue pipe online, like, oh, 200 PSI. I was like, all right, that's stronger, whatever. Then I get it. It's supposed to be one inch. And it's like, it's not one inch. It's like less. So every, all these one inch fittings, like you guys really stretch the stuff. something different all right this is what i got so this i guess they called this like copper one something different but the three quarter inch fits in it easy so let's do this pump was a four wire and the new one's a three so meaning we got just two hots and a ground on this one we have our two hots ground and a startup wire I mean I technically don't need this box anymore I'm gonna leave it here. I just wanna look at what I did. Let's just unhook this startup. Yeah, we don't need that. Also shouldn't be powering that, so that's fine. To the pump, so we're not using red. So black and white are hot. All right, before we shrink these, let's, uh, I'm driving up top. I'm going to turn the pump on. Let's try it. Is the well fixed? Is the well fixed? Let's see. Pump. All right, the breaker did not blow. That red light's on. All right, we will hear. Yep. Sounds a little weird, but I'll look at the pressure. It's rising up. Yay! Probably a bunch of air in there. I like having a lot of pressure. We're going up to kicked off 57. water heater all right she's fixed let's button everything up so there's another brand new one exact same thing right there when i first did everything i was gonna do a deep well right here i hired this well driller guy to come out and douse i it was like 250 bucks and i think it was complete nonsense he pretty much said oh we could put a well anywhere i was like all right dude just come do it 
Then he never shows up and he's like, oh, you didn't pay the deposit. I'm like, dude, I paid you $250 to Dow's. Like, I'm not giving you like all, like it was like a few grand for a deposit. I'm like, no, dude, you just show up. You don't need a deposit. So he didn't show up. Then I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing a shallow well. So I knew I could just do like down here, you dig a hole, it fills up. So what you gotta do is install a cistern and build a house over it. That's easy. The trick was getting a pipe from all the way up here to down there, four feet deep. My well pipe goes right through here. Like I had to dig between these two rocks. Here's a cool photo of this spot seven years ago. But. That's fine. That's fine. That's not gonna freeze. She wants this to shut. All right. Well, that's all fixed. So hopefully that one lasts at least seven years. There's no water pressure. It's on. Oh wait, did that just push him? There it goes. Oh, maybe a brulette circuit breaker. Actually, it kind of looks like exactly what happened, but. All right, maybe that circuit breaker can't be there. That's not a big deal. Doesn't need it. I mean, it's got another one, so. Uh, well pump off. We're having an issue with this circuit breaker. That circuit breaker there. Yeah, see, it was blown. That keeps tripping. This was for the old pump. Essentially, this is just a junction box right now. This wire. is happening in this box but it's a, but being a junction box I'm gonna miss that light that comes on when the pump is on I could always add that again somewhere else but. okay now we should get water so the breaker was tripping around this PSI there it is All right. let's wait for it to shut off and now that's shut off on its own I mean that that right there will do it. <laughs> you know, that pressure washer is still not quite right. Oh yeah, big difference. 
All right, let's see how the pressure washer is now. Not like pull start. You don't like pull start. You ready? Pull start. Pull start. Pull start. was a bad filter making that not perform. Alright, so it's been a few weeks since I changed that pump. Now the pressure washer is working good again with its new nozzle. And the pump is still working good. So, so all is good. You can see the uh, dozer is pretty far apart. Video coming out on that. <laughs> 